Hi, my name is Rochelle Harding, and I am the Home Garden Program Manager here at Valley Verde, and I'm in our garden uh, at the Finca, uh, our main site where we grow plants. And I wanted to show you how to do self-pollinating uh, when you have a lack of uh, bees or pollinators in your garden and your fruits on your um, vegetables are maybe falling off and dying because they're not getting pollinated. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, you're gonna need a paintbrush and uh, your plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the screen and we're gonna take a look at um, this squash. This is called a somin kabucha squash or kin kinchi squash. Um, so this is what the, the developed um, squash will look alike, but first we're going to identify um, some male flowers. So you can see these are uh, male flowers because they don't have any fruit growing um, underneath the blossom. And I'll come over here, and this is also a male flower, and male flowers over there. And if we go around to the other side, uh, I have a plant that has several of the female, and I'll show you the difference here. So this is the same plant. Here's a mature fruit or one that's um, getting mature. Now you can clearly see these are female flowers and you can tell uh, by, the, by the fruit that's growing. And the same with this one right here. And I believe there's one down here. So that is an example of a female fruit on this squash plant. Um, and so in order to pollinate, uh, we also have, this looks like a male flower, but it's, it's um, starting to close up a little bit, but I bet we could, um, what we do is we take our paintbrush and you're gonna wanna stick it in the male flower and you're gonna wanna move the brush around and get pollen on the paintbrush. So let's see if this one has enough left over in there. Okay, so you're gonna wanna check your paintbrush and make sure that you got pollen on the tip. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find one of these female flowers and we're gonna go in and we're gonna put it on the stigma, which is, if I can open this a little bit, um, inside there's a, a little uh, receptor um, that you need to brush the pollen onto and that is going to help pollinate the flower. If, if this uh, blossom doesn't get pollinated, uh, then this fruit will uh, get yellow and dry up and fall off because the plant is not gonna wanna waste its energy um, growing something that is not uh, going to produce fruit with seeds. So once again, let me take you to the other side where we had a little bit better, more open male flowers. Um, or at least here's one. So you can check again. If I move this leaf, I can see that's a male flower. There's no fruit attached. So I want to stick my brush in here and wiggle it around lightly. Um, you can also take the blossom off, pinch it off, but I can tell I got a good amount of pollen on this paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and transfer it to the female flower. So this would be for cases when um, you are not getting um, enough fruit that's uh, pollinating and maybe it's all falling off and dying. Um, so I'm going to take this and open this up for you to see a little bit. Um, so let's open that up just like that. So if you can see inside there, that's where I wanna brush the pollen onto this middle part, and really get it, get it transferred from the male flower to this female flower. So we'll come and check back in a few days and hopefully this baby fruit will be developing into a squash. Thanks for watching, hope that was helpful.